Sunday evenings, 5.30 p.m. at the AMA Conference Hall. Prophetic Sunday evenings. And I'm going to be announcing the date from tomorrow. It's going to be four Prophetic Sunday evenings. Okay. I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna be an explosive time. Yes, Papa. Very explosive. explosive. That's right. You you said you are a prophet. <laughs> yeah. I'm an intercessor. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh my God. Can you pick the numbers of those who want the, the details and call them and explain to them? Because it's four o'clock. Is that okay? All right. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you want to receive him now. You want to say, Lord Jesus. This morning, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for dying for me, and I declare that I'm born again. Amen. And let me repeat it again. The instructions are for those who believe in the prophetic word. Don't force yourself if you don't have the capacity now. Just relax. It's just for the 120 who believe in the prophetic word. I mean, Prophet Isaac has been... How many Fridays have you been here? Fridays here. Yes. I've been here like six weeks. Ago. Six weeks, eh? Yes. Yeah. And you have seen his ministry. You know, some of you have been on the Zoom channel. <laughs> you have seen his ministry. I mean, yeah, you know, one time he traveled to Canada. You know, he traveled to Canada. Yeah. Oh, to Ghana, Hanam, Canada, where? <laughs> you know? Today is your 50th birthday, Sheila. God bless you. We love you from the depths of our heart. Don't ask the person to send it. You call the person. So call the person and explain. That was the instruction I gave. Just pick the number with your phone and call the person. That's all. And introduce yourself. My name is Timothy. I'm Pastor Kojo's... That's all. I love you all. God richly bless you. Remember tomorrow. It's going to be an explosive morning. 1.30 a.m. we are here. The name of Jesus. God bless you. And I'm out of here. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely. It's your mother's birthday, Vivian Juan. The Lord bless your mother. And we are out of here. Have a lovely, lovely morning. Thank you so much, Prophet Isaac, for coming. Amen. And uh, God richly bless you.
this Morris and I say keep on listening to George, 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 George. 99.7 FM. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ through music. You know, you can just get renewed just listening to it. Hi there, this is Yolanda Adams and you know you're hanging out with the main man of gospel music. Everybody, this is your friend Travis Green. You're listening to Fifi Folson. What's up, everybody? This is Michael Stamplin. You're listening to Fifi Folsom. Hi, this is Darlene Check. Keep listening. It will bless you. Hi, this is Donnie McClurkin. Stay tuned for the best in gospel music, and remember, your faith in God will access miracles for you. God bless you. What's up to all my family in Ghana? This is your brother, your cousin, your nephew, Kirk Franklin. I want you to know you're checking me out right here. It's all about the kingdom, baby. Fifi Folsom, let's go. I love this station. That must surely be joy. 99.7 FM. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. And when you're done, please take the glory. Satisfied just to see you glorified more than anything we need you, more than anything we need you, more than anything we need you, more than. Anything we need you. More than
37 verse 1 When you read through to 10 You know the story right I like the part that says He asked me Son of man can these bones live I said Sovereign Lord you alone knowest Then he said to me Prophesy To these bones and say to them Dry bones Hear the word of the Lord this is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath into you and you will come to life. But with your mouth, confession is made. That's right. Unto salvation. Did you hear that? <laughs> it doesn't matter what you see. Your confession is your possession. This morning I'm excited to also remind you that you have Zoe, the life of God is in you. If there's one thing you must copy from God, copy the fact that he speaks. And so you must speak. You got the power. They say when you close your mouth, you more like shut your destiny, right? Because you got to speak. What are you speaking? Speak by revelation. Speak. Necessity. Speak. Openings. Yeah. <laughs> May the portals of your spirit open up this morning and take the next minute just begin to speak turn situations around you turn it by faith through your confession the sickness is gone that business will not collapse that marriage will not break I will complete my education doors will open for me the will of God concerning my life will come to pass. I will break through. I will move to that position. I, ah. <laughs> Things happen when you speak. Can this when you speak, change or cast. So you have the life of God in you. Good morning. In. I just came to remind you this morning. You got the power. Speed. Welcome on board as Joy Jam in his presence. 99.7, your favorite morning devotion on radio. It's a terrific Thursday. It's my turn. Our uh, directions from His Excellency, the Holy Spirit. Of course, with your support. Being on the other side, we are fellowshipping together. Hope you're doing well. How's the week been so far? Hope you're speaking in positivity as you respond. So I said, ah, it's been okay. I know you've been sure, right? All things must work together for your good. So, well, I thank God for everything that has happened. <laughs> well, this morning, Reverend David Wincott is joining us. He has a word from God for you. And so stay put. We'll spend some time interceding. 
And of course, you'll enjoy some great music. My name is Fifi Fulton, the Christocentric guy. A child to keep a half, a God to glorify with this show, a life to impact, and a soul to save. God will be glorified. You will be edified by the sanctified content here today. Good morning. So that's uh, Kola Wale Beckis. <laughs> Featuring Dunsin or your car on the tune Live before Nathaniel Bassi started off with Adonai. And he alone deserves all the glory our King Most High. Lift your hands into the sky. Wave it from side to side. And say, Father, thank you for the privilege to be counted amongst the living. I am optimistic that with you, my son, I will break through. And of course, thank you that, you know, you are in me. As a born-again believer, you have the life of God in you. This song is going to speak to that. When I return, we'll come <laughs> We're streaming live on Facebook. You can join in. This life yes. that I have mm. is a life of God in me. Come on, come on. This life Woo. that I have mm. is a life of Christ. This joy that I have is the joy of the whole. In one minute, can you just lift your hands? Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Oh, bless his name. For the life of God that is in us, come on, open your mouth wide and give him glory.
is power in Zoe And dealing in Zoe Favor in Zoe Direction in Zoe Power in Zoe Say Healing in Zoe Favor in Zoe Say Direction in Zoe Power in Zoe Say Healing in Zoe Favor in Zoe Say Direction in Zoe I came to announce to you as a born again believer, you have Zoe, the life of God in you. Running. And of course, when you have the life of God, you know you can never be defeated. <laughs> you on top, keep rising. Glory. Pastor Oduna, yo at Debayo featuring Caleb. Minister Irene here. Enjoy 99.7. Joy, time and his presence. It's morning devotion. Stay on the station. Let's have some good time. Yeah. Well, I want you to lift up your voice with me and just begin to appreciate the Lord for the message shown you all week, all day, all this new month. Go on ahead. Come on. Be grateful. Be like that one leper that came back to say, him I ye, Thank you. And in him, amen. Yes. Father, of God. I want to say a big thank you to you for showing me mercy grace, preserving me, my wife, my children, my family, everyone tune in this morning, if we are alive it's because grace found us, we thank you that in spite of all that we have gone through, you are still God, and you are a good God, <laughs> thank you for the pleasure of living for you. Amen. We want to commit the day into his hands. Say, Baba, I know you're in charge. Every day you have made, you have kept me in for a reason. And so I am thankful that you will lead me through the day. Just commit your ways to him. We trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways. Did you hear that? In all of your ways, acknowledging. Yeah. Say, Father, as I go to school this morning, as I go to the office, to the market, yeah. As I get into the interview room, to that exams hall, as I go to strike that deal, push in my proposal, lead me. Follow my steps. Let me not go ahead of you. I am prepared. Lead me. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every good thing in the day is coming to me according to your will. 
blow off every negativity, all machinations, orchestrations of the evil one. They will not find me. I am hidden under Yahweh's pavilion in the name of Jesus. Ah, ministering angels are working on my behalf. I am highly favored today. Yeah, the day will go good, it will end good. Through it all, I trust you to lead me. And I will say thank you and return the glory unto your name. Are you seeking any part of your body? Can you lay your hands there and begin to speak? Tell that sickness, that ailment, that infirmity, that weakness. Receive strength. Receive healing. Be set free. Spirit of infirmity. I declare you bound in the name of Jesus. I am released. I enjoy divine health from above. In the name of Jesus, this sickness would not lead to death. No way. I have not finished my assignment here on earth. I will live in the name of Jesus. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I flush you out. Any form of sickness, whether seen or now developing, I catch you short. In the name of Jesus, I enjoy divine health. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Come on, believe what you have said. Just thank God that you are healed. Father, I thank you that I'm healed this morning. Right now, by power and authority in your name. Yeah, you sent forth your word to heal my disease. Lift up those in authority over your life into the hands of the Lord. Everybody has someone leading them. You know that, right? It could be at work, in school. Even the family has a head, huh? In the community, in the nation. Pray fast and firm as the kingdom of God be established in your hearts. Very, very important. Yeah. So that they will walk with the mind of God. Grace to lead right. In the name of Jesus. And those who lead us. Lord, they will lead us aright. In the name of Jesus. We cancel any form of crooked leadership. In the name of Jesus. Manipulation. Stop. We pray for godly wisdom. The leaders in the name of Jesus. Oh, come and go ahead and talk to the Lord this morning. I want you to pray for those on the missionary field. You know, there are many who have uh, laid down their lives. And remember that uh, as a child of God, it behoves on you to win souls. You are a soul winner. Winning soul is not for the evangelistic department of the church. You know that feeling? Yeah. It's the same with prayer. Say, oh, Alpha Church, I'm not part of the prayer warriors, I'm in the choir. Who told you prayer is relegated to only those in the prayer department? Man ought to pray. <laughs> so this morning, if you tuned in, I'm asking you to pray for those on the field. Maybe you should join. Join the missionary department. There are people who are doing mission work. There are people who are laying down their lives. They are attempting great things for God. You're asking the Lord, preserve them. Let mercy find them. Let no works of evil men find them. You know, sometimes there are people who might not just like what you're doing and they might plot against them. Lord, preserve your children. Preserve all those on the field. And your home. will find favor where they need help help will come to them and pray for the lost you know there are people who are lost and their hearts are hardened so the lord does not call them they can't come lord we pray that as you call them they will hear you we pray that your hearts be broken be receptive to your word of salvation today in the name of jesus all lost souls we command you as the word comes receive it in Jesus' name. Do you know any pregnant woman around you? Yeah. You can lay your hands on that womb. Yeah, or that stomach. However, or just pray with faith with me. And the Lord preserves them. Yeah. 
Yes, and it's when you think about how a mother takes seed, goes through the whole cycle, and then sometimes we are waiting at home to rejoice, and then we don't hear good news. What happened? Oh no. Look at the whole nine months journey, the pain. All of that, you know. And so it's always on my heart that we pray for pregnant women. That the Lord will preserve them. Sometimes they go and the babies do not come back. You know, sometimes I'm tempted to just put myself in their shoes and find out how do they feel. For all the nine months they carried these babies. And you know, some had so much hope. So you're praying that Lord show them mercy. Preserve every baby in any womb right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for preservation. These babies will live. They will develop very well. And when the time is right, they will be born. They will bring joy to their homes. Mommy will live. Children will live. Every activity of the evil one. You know, sometimes bloodthirsty man eaters. Vampires are sent. But the devil has missed his way. Where that pregnant woman in your life is concerned, they will go and they will return. With your babies to God's glory. As their children are even dedicated to the Lord. <laughs> you know, I want you to pray also for people or persons living with disability. You know, some people by reason or by no fault of this. Yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes they are not treated even as humans. Sometimes they are not treated fairly. I want to pray the Lord show them mercy. Send help their way. In the name of Jesus. Anyone living with disability. Lord, create conditions good for them. Preserve them. Send help to them. Let people love them as even they love themselves. In the name of Jesus. We pray that let none of them be depressed. To feel that they are not wanted even to think of committing suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Preserve them. Finally, I want you to help me pray for any widow or widower. Yeah. You want to pray for them. You know, it's pure religion to take care of them. That as you share what a prayer for them, may God lay on your heart a way to support them. They need help. Yes. And to go ahead and say, Father, any widow or widower, this morning, we pray, help be sent to them. Comfort them first and foremost. Heal them of any pain, any hurt, any disappointment. And Lord, send help to them. Send help to them. Yes. Help of even time with human beings. Sometimes they need time to speak with people. Comfort comes through words. You know that, right? Sometimes some are abandoned for all sorts of things. But you know prayer works. Prayer changes things. Lord, this morning, locate that widower, that widow who is calling on you. Help. Help be sent to them right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God is coming. The executive pastor of Seat of Grace Chapel International is with us this morning. And as the word comes, quickly, just ask the Lord to speak through his servant. Anoint his lips. Give him the boldness and clarity to declare his unadulterated word that will bless you immensely. Father, thank you for your servant. Thank you for this moment. Spirit of the Lord, speak through him. Anoint his lips. Clarity, boldness to declare your word. This morning, your children will receive illumination. In Jesus' name. Pray for joy of him. Lift your voice and pray for joy of him. Thank God for joy of him. Father, thank you for joy of him. Thank you for what joy of him does. Even to bring blessings to every soul tuned in. Preserve all of us here. Protect us. Help the business to grow. Thank you for Kwesi Chum and those who lead us. Wisdom and direction. Yes. Pray for everybody who does business with Joy FM. That their businesses will flourish. Doors be opened. Multiplicity of blessings locate them in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. It feels good to be in the presence of the Lord. Pray, I sweet, huh? <laughs> So that's Chris Isaac Eduamwa, CIA Music. That's what he calls himself for that Amen song in the background. I love it. 
Say amen and your home on me. Whatever you're brought to God by reason of prayer. The word says be anxious for nothing in all things. Through prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding is brooding all over you. Because the Lord has heard you this morning name. And he will come through for you. You believe, right? You believe he has heard you. That's right. Just thank you. Glory. Okay, beloved, in the Lord is good time for us to be blessed by the word. And I'm excited to see my brother man here, uh, Pastor David Wincott. Good morning. <laughs> I'm sounding all melodious. Huh? <laughs> How are you, sir? Fine, fine, fine. We are good. Okay. Fantastic. So I'm excited to have you. I have no doubt God has a word for his children today. And uh, I believe with all my heart that I will be blessed. Yeah. <laughs> if you'll be blessed, say I will be blessed. <laughs> okay. So if you are ready, I'm sure we can fire on. For the next 20 minutes, the whole world is listening to you. Yeah. Please bless us as the Lord leads you. Amen. 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 We want to thank everyone who's tuning in right now. I just want you to know that wherever you are, the word of God is reaching you. And we thank the set man who has actually prepared the way. In fact, when you were when you were talking, I was I was thinking that maybe somebody has uh, has leaked my sermon to you because every single word that you were sharing. Wow. That was what the Lord laid upon my heart to come and share spirit, to your spirit. listeners. Mm. And 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 it's amazing. Mm. It's amazing how God works. Mm. The Holy Spirit knows that a time like this, a set time like mm. this, this is what the people of God want to hear. Glory. The Bible said the entrance of his word mm. bringeth us light. That's right. Yeah, according to Psalm 119 verse number 130, it said that the entrance of his word bringeth us light and it's and it's also giveth understanding to the simple and this morning i pray for a very strong receptive in your spirit in the name of jesus that may this word that coming to you in the name of jesus may it go forth and touch your life in the name of jesus the bible say it was his word that he used to create the world and i pray that even as the word that come to you lord i pray lord jesus that father may you touch every home Touch every heart in the mighty name of Jesus. May this word, the Bible says, it is the word of God that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. He said, the words that I speak, they are spirit in their life. May the spirit of God enter your heart in the name of Jesus. May anyone who is watching me, who is listening to me at this time, oh God, a joy time in his presence. May your hearts be touched in the name of Jesus. Just quickly, we want to um, um, share some scriptures if 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 you are here that this is a very strong um uh, 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 joy joy pray joy, joy time in his presence is more like a, a morning devotion for many homes i uh, before i came um i was sharing this um, um uh, the link to somebody he said that i'm always tuning i'm always tuning so it's just a more like a daily bread to everyone want to read this scripture on on luke chapter 4 verse number 39 to 30, uh, um, um, 38 to 39. I what what I want to speak to your people today, and the, everyone who's listening to me and is watching me right now, is that the Lord wants us to be in the position of interceding for people. Amen. And that is what the Lord wants to share with us this morning. And 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 if 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 you are there, uh, let me just let me just read it. Um, I'm reading on. Um, NLT, um, on NLT version, he said that after leaving the synagogue that day, Jesus went to Simon's home. And the Bible says that when he entered, when he entered, um, he found Simon's mother-in-law very sick with a high fever. Please heal her, everyone begged. Standing at her beside, he rebuked the fever and he left her. And she got up at once and prepared a meal for them. This is very, very profound. That means when you read the account of Mark, Mark chapter 1, when you read the account of Mark, Andrew, Peter, James, John, they came to the house with uh, Simon Peter, to the house. And the Bible says that when they entered the house, the mother-in-law of Peter, Simon Peter, was taken up ill. Not just any fever, but a high fever. And what, it, what happened was that 
at that position, people started begging that Jesus should heal. And I was thinking that what brought Jesus to the house? So was Simon Peter who actually besought Jesus that Jesus, my mother-in-law is not feeling well. And you know how men, when our mother-in-laws are not feeling well, even your wife, you understand? And, and they are living with you. And he said that my mother-in-law is not well. And this time around, it wasn't that Peter. The, the, the Bible said that the people, the people begged Jesus. And they said, Jesus, heal her. I'm speaking on a subject, heal her. Heal her. And this is what I want to put it in context. And then I also try to uh, um, um, put it on a pretext. And my context today, I'm trying to share this particular thing. The people recognized the need for healing. The people. It wasn't even Jesus. You remember the other time Jesus Christ was walking on a highway and there was a blind guy called Bartimaeus. The Bible said he cried that Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. And then the Bible says all of a sudden, Jesus stood still and besought the guy to be called for. And when the guy came, Jesus asked the guy, what do you want me to do for? So at the point, I feel like, ah, but Jesus didn't see that the guy is blind. So at the point, when this fever that has actually uh, um, um, positioned the woman into a position that she cannot do anything, any how she can go about doing her life will depend on how people beseech Jesus, how people besought Jesus, how people can beg Jesus for her to be healed. The recognition. The Peter's mother-in-law was sick with a high fever, hindering her ability to function. Somebody is sick right now. Somebody is down right now. Somebody's business is down right now. Now the point is that it doesn't mean that the woman doesn't know God. It doesn't mean that the mother-in-law hasn't prayed. It doesn't mean that the mother-in-law hasn't prayed that Jesus, can't you heal me? God, can't you heal me? She has prayed all kinds of prayer. But at many times, God wants to look at the corporate prayer. Want to look at how people come together and say, as for this one, we will not watch it for it to go down. And the Bible says that the people begged. Heal her. Heal her. I want you to, if you are watching me right now, I want you to go to the comment section and type heal her. Heal her. Heal her. In a contest, in contest, when we are talking about her, her represents so many things in our life. In fact, anything that brings our livelihood, it personifies as hair. Ah, anything. If you are watching me, I'm telling you that anything that brings your livelihood, that makes you go about your life, it's personified as a hair. Jesus said, I'm leaving. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to send you a comforter. Now, when you look at a comforter, in, in, in Greek, the, uh, in Greek, this, the, 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 uh, 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 the comforter or helper is called uh, um, uh, paclitis. And what it means is that it, it's, it's, it represents a grammatically feminine word. It's, it represents, so the persona of the Holy Spirit is like a feminine. Heal her. If you, are look, if, if, if you are looking at it from the context that uh, the, what, what happened to uh, um, the in-law, I mean, I don't have an in-law uh, and nobody is in my house who is actually sick. And uh, what can this message actually mean for me? What it means is that why they didn't mention a woman's name, why even Peter's wife's name was not mentioned. But they said that, Jesus, this woman, we want you to heal her. The people begged. And when the people begged, and Jesus be suit to heal her, the Bible says that all of a sudden, this woman got up at once and went straight to the kitchen and prepared a meal for them. Ah, the Bible says the service to man is service to God. So what it means is that if this woman is not up, it means that there's no food on the table. What happened? So I was looking at the account of Luke. Luke is a physician. Uh, I was thinking, uh, does, it actually, does, it, does it actually make medically right that um, somebody who was taken up at, on, a, at, on a high fever and all of a sudden, if she's restored, she can go to the kitchen to prepare a food for people to eat. And I was like, wow, is there anything there? Then the God is telling us that your position that you are in, it is, you, we are doing everything possible for you to be restored because people's livelihood depend on you. 
people livelihood depend on you heal her heal her and the people be sudden and say that heal her and 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 one one of the thing i also saw was that the power of collective faith or the power of collective prayer when they did that look at what happened the, when the people came together they they actually it actually compelled Jesus. It actually moved Jesus. And Jesus said, no, this thing I have to do this thing for. And that is what I'm reaching anybody who's watching me right now. The day the company started going down was when the CEO couldn't even hold a pen to sign. Why? Because stroke has taken over. The day the woman couldn't go to Abu Broshi and come back. That was the day the daily bread of the family started going under. Now, I am, I am reaching you right now is that if we all can come to that mindset, look at it. Look at the corporate, look at the corporate position that they came. The Bible says that Jesus responded to the plea of the people. The plea of the people was that Jesus, we beg you, you here. Sometimes the Lord wants us to come together. Hold our hands. Right now you are home. Wherever you are, even if you are sitting in a car with anybody else, I want you to try as much as possible. Just be intentional about it. They said, this woman, this man, we want you to heal her. We want this, this woman to be healed. We want this man to be healed. And that was the people plea to Jesus. And the Bible said, it moved Jesus. Look at some of the things that represent her in our life. Do you know that the mother earth, the reason why we call it as a mother earth, mother is actually a feminine. So the hair I'm talking about, I'm not talking about your mother-in-law. I'm not talking about your father, in, uh, your, your sister-in-law, whatever it is. I'm not talking about even your wife. I am talking about anything that represents her in your life. Anything that represents a she in your life. Anything that represents a woman in your life. Look at our world today. Do you know that country also represents a feminine? A she. A lot of things. Look at some of us. When our car is under, when our car is down, yeah, you, 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 all of a sudden you start developing fever. Yeah. Because and car represent also feminine. I am talking to you that you can represent so many things in your life. They said money is like a woman. If you don't treat it well, that's what? It will go away. So money too is what? Uh -huh. And I'm speaking to you, anybody who's watching me and who's listening to me right now. The hair can represent so many things in your life. Your, life, your workplace is hair. Look at our country, Ghana. Look at your cities. Can anybody get up and say that? Let's hold our hands. We want to pray for the CEO of a, a, a multimedia group. We are making sure that he is fortified. Can you get that and say that we are holding hands? We are praying for our bishop. We are praying for our bishop. We are praying for our head pastor. We are doing everything possible that he is strengthened. Can we do that? And that is what the people did. The Bible said, and the people begged. The word begged, it means that they besought Jesus. They did everything possible that Jesus should do this. And we all know that Jesus doesn't move by whatever it is and all that too. Jesus is moved by, and that's the reason why the Lord said that, come to me, come to me. So it means that God knows your problem, but sometimes he wants you to engage him. But said engagement, he needs it in a corporate anointing or corporate faith or corporate prayer. And this morning, I am speaking to homes. I am speaking to everyone who is listening to me right now. The Lord is saying that come together. Let's come together and pray in the name of Jesus and beg for some, beg Jesus or beg God for something to be done in the life of somebody. That our life depends on. Yeah, we know how our country has become right now. Look at, go to workplaces, go to homes, even in our communities. Just look at it. If it, is, it had nothing to do with me, I don't have any interest in it. And that is how it has become. So people go about their lives as if we are living in our, our, our own chamber. Now what it means is that if that man who is sitting there is strengthened, a food will be put on the table. The Bible says that when the woman got up, she went straight to the kitchen and cooked for the people to eat. Heal her, heal her, heal her. There's a hair in our lives. 
there's a hair in our lives. The Bible says that the church is a hair. The church is a she. The church is the bride. The church is the bride. How many people are praying for the church? If you think you are in your small denomination and that is the church for you, the church is the collective, is the assembly of the call out. How many people are praying for the church? Yeah. Somebody will wish that tomorrow they say no church will open. Yeah. But what it means is that that is what our life depends on. Some of us, that, has, that is what has kept us in the name of Jesus. We call the Lord God Almighty that anyone who is sick, who is taking up ill, in the name of Jesus, we beseech Jesus. We, 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 we beseech Jesus. We, we call Jesus. Be, Jesus, we beg that may you heal them in the name of Jesus. Any hair in our lives, any hair in our lives, I don't want to enter homes where I'm going to look at somebody, the day the man, the day the man who's supposed to go out there and come back and put a bread on the table for the family, the day illness shut him down, everything started going under. Children's school fees are not paid. I know someone who is at home right now. For more than even a year, the children has never even stepped to school. Why? Because his livelihoods were taken from him. If that is sickness. Amen. And we are calling the Lord God Almighty, the Father Lord, enough is enough. We want this woman to be healed. Now what happened is that it was never put in any passage that Peter openly came to Jesus. That Jesus, this is the problem I have at home. I don't have peace. I want you to come to my house to heal my mother-in-law. It was never recorded anywhere. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came. He said that he arose from the synagogue and came to Simon Peter's home. So what it means is that when Peter went to church, you might have a problem. There are some people who are going to church, but they have a big problem at home. We have a pastor who is preaching to you, but he has a big problem at home. We have people, you see them, they'll be dancing, yes, you know why, you know why, and, and all those kind of things. They'll be dancing and doing all that, but they have a problem at home. The problem that you have at home, when you go to church, you will come home with Jesus. What interest was that? When Peter went to the synagogue and went about doing the activities with Jesus, he came home with Jesus. And when he came home to Jesus, Jesus was available to be prayed for. Jesus was available to be begged that mother-in-law should be healed. And we are calling the Lord God Almighty that may God touch hearts of many. Now many people have become in a position that, oh, the church is everywhere. I can stay in my bedroom and, and pray and, and that's all. But look at Peter. Look at Peter. Look at Peter. I want us to quickly look at something. My time is almost up. And then we will just pray briefly and we can leave here. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that every home that is listening to me right now, may Jesus, Jesus be found there. I, I quickly want to read this in Luke chapter 13, verse number 12. It says that, And when Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are, you are set free from your infirmity. Then put his hand on her and immediately she was straightened up and praised God. What it means is that the woman was walking in the church and anybody sees the woman and they say, this woman, why she comes to church and she doesn't join the praise and worship team? Uh, uh, she, I've never seen her smiling before. I've never seen her lifting her hands before. But people doesn't know that she is crippled inside her. This woman is bent, other versions say that is bent double. It's like the way you flip a book. The way you flip a book like this. The way you flip a book like this. The woman was like this. Legs down. Hands down. And this woman, that is the infirmity she was bearing. Jesus went to the synagogue on a Sabbath day. Which she have, Jesus had to break the protocol and touch that woman. And what happened was that the woman was restored. When the woman was restored, the Bible said immediately... That is the service. Immediately, she praised God. In a Simon Peter's account, immediately, she went straight to the kitchen and did what? And cooked for the people. What it means is that whatever God has in you, uh, that, is, that is what is making people to, be, to, 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 uh, um, to, to, to come to you. And what happened was that when Jesus Christ actually did that for the woman, the Bible says that the, the, the founder of the church at the synagogue came, came, 
and then he said that uh, uh, why why are you guys doing why are you guys doing this uh, on a sabbath day you have you have monday tuesday wednesday thursday you have all the six days to do this but why are you doing it now why why are you doing it now and jesus said look listen look at this woman just look at this woman. What it means is that it doesn't interest the man of God. It doesn't interest the founder of the church. It doesn't interest the overseer of the church. But it interests God because she prays God. But at a point, you see, this one was a service. Praising God was a service to God. But uh, Simon Peter's uh, 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 mother-in-law was a service to man. But service to man is a service to God. And service to God is a service. And what it means was that whatever God wants to do, even he will break protocol, he will do everything possible to come to your aid. And this morning I am praying, even as I'm ending my message, I wish, I wish we have time. Because all the, list that, or all the things that I've had here, uh, um, I know that the Lord has touched somebody who is listening to me right now. There's so many things that is happening in our world today. And I want people to come together. Hold your hands together and say, Jesus, we want you to intervene in this situation. We want this situation to be cast out. We want this situation to be solved. And I call the name of the Lord God Almighty. The Lord, any home, anyone who is listening to me, in the name of Jesus. Father, that because, of, because they are under, because they are down, things are not moving. We call the Lord God Almighty, the Father, may they be up again. Oh, may they be up again. May they be restored again. May they be restored again. May they be restored again in the name of Jesus. And I call Jesus to enter every home. The Bible said that Jesus entered every home. The woman was in the church and Jesus found her. Simon Peter's mother-in-law was at home, but Peter brought her. So your connection with Jesus will bring that healing. And I'm calling anyone who is listening to me, who doesn't know anything called Jesus? I'm telling you, that is the master. Okay? His resurrection was 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 that which actually brought you and I a life to God, and as we have joined her with the Son, and now we are caught as Christian. Anybody who's listened to me, Jesus Christ will want to come to your home. We want to come to your home. If He's not finding you at church, He must find you at home, and He can use a Simon Peter. Who is Simon Peter? Somebody who works with Jesus. Simon Peter is your brother who worships Jesus. Your brother who goes to church every day. Your sister who goes to church every day. When they bring Jesus home, embrace Jesus. And the Bible says that when the woman was healed, a food was put on the table. A food was put on the table. Sometimes our life depends on somebody's working. And we call the Lord God Almighty to do this for you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we call on you today. That Father, anyone who's listening to me, who is listening to me now, Lord? May you touch them, touch them, touch them. Touch even our country, Ghana, in the name of Jesus. Touch the leaders, touch the leaders. May you restore them. Sometimes the infirmity is not even physically that they are taken up by high fever. Sometimes it's emotional torture. Yeah, it's emotional. Sometimes they can, be, they can be gripped by an evil spirit. We break them loose in the name of Jesus. We break them loose in the name of Jesus. And we call the Lord God Almighty, the Father Lord, may you restore every heart. May you restore every life. May you restore every health. May you restore every industry. May you restore every church. May you restore every workplaces in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we call on you. May you restore even on this platform that has been given unto me. Yeah, may you restore multimedia group. May you restore them in the name of Jesus. We call the Lord God Almighty, the Father, may every institution, every organization in Ghana, Lord, that one, that, that run through your ethics, that run through your ethics, Father, we call the Lord God Almighty, the Father, may you touch them and may you restore them. The Bible says that when the people begged, that heal her, heal her. And like I said, the hair represents so many things in our life. There's so many things in our life that represent hair. And that hair will be healed. And Jesus is in it. That is his business. The Bible says everywhere he goes, he was doing good. He was doing good. Oh, he was doing good. He was doing good. And that is the reason why Jesus has to be begged for. Yeah. Sometimes you sit there and say, So God hasn't seen what I'm going through? Uh, um, um, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Sometimes God has seen it. But, but, but you, you, you need to get yourself into a position that we are holding hands. Even your children, you can hold your hands and say, that, Kids, let's pray for daddy. Uh, 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 guys, let's pray for mommy. Let's pray. We want mommy to be well. Oh, we, we want daddy's work to go on well. We, we, we want auntie to do well. Your uncle who is sitting in abroad somewhere, 
You don't know what is going through. But can people hold their hands? Can people hold their hands and pray for? And I know for sure that Jesus will come through. And Jesus will come through. And Jesus will come through. Jesus will come through. And when he comes through, life will be restored. Oh, life will be restored. Life will be restored. In the name of oh. Jesus. And I thank God Almighty for giving us this opportunity for Indeed. us to reach you. If you are listening to me, and I know that your life shall never be the same. And I know that as you have heard this word, mm. may the word be made fruition in your life. Mm. The Bible says, and the word became flesh mm. and dwell among us. Mm. Any word that we speak that cannot be seen, that cannot be touched, it means that it wasn't the word of mm. God. But may this word be made flesh mm. and dwell among you. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, Pastor David Wincott. Oops. <laughs> Hashtag heal hair. This morning, we had God's word. We call for corporate prayer. We pray for prayer of agreement that God will send help, will send healing. Wherever we need him, he will have his way. Healing rains for a prayer together a healing rain locate you not only with your health your business your relationship your education everything that concerns you thank you michael w smith for this beautiful thorn in the background you know today i want to just uh go on this tangent come on come on <laughs> do i have some witnesses up in me heat up <laughs> monarch's praise i see you Let's go. <laughs> Lines are active. Huh? Radio messages 055 I want you to know that when we pray, Baba God comes through for you. Uh, let me know again. Everybody come on, rock with me. Yeah. Rock, rock with me. Yeah. Lord, you never turn your back on us. Come on, let me see you rock with me. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try this one 
works. Let's go. You made a, a come on, a set. You make a way out of no way when it looks like it's over. You promise this, I guess. And amen. And amen. You be faithful all my days. Come on, come on. My life is in your hands. No matter what may come. Now listen away. to me. Papa God will never Papa God will forsake. Never forsake. Baba God will never forsake, even when things don't make sense, because we are praying. He comes through. Yeah, Monarch's Praise featuring David the Music Box. Baba God is the title. Fresh and refreshing. Prosper. Her name is Alpha Prosper from Adido Man. And for Lake here. Good morning. Thank you, and uh, of course, thank you, Pastor David, for the powerful words this morning. Yeah, Pastor David Wincott, Executive Pastor of Seed of Grace Chapel International. <laughs> Heal hair. I've seen the hashtag plenty here. Good morning. Uh, it's a good morning. God bless you, Reverend. Uh, this is Hagar. Lake up watching. How are you doing? Okay, let's push in this one. Good morning. I want you to confirm. Okay. All right. I'll confirm. <laughs> Happy birthday to Nana Kwesi and Chiboy Tiako of Lekma 5JHS. Uh, please bless him. <laughs> Father, come through for Nana Kwesi. Uh, bless everything that he does and let him be a blessing to his generation. Yeah. We say amen. Cancel every activity of the evil one concerning his life. In Jesus' name. Hi, Wilhelmina. How are you doing? Bless God for your life. You did hashtag heal hair. May God come through for you. Okay, this one says, uh, enjoying the word, heal hair. Can you wish you happy birthday to Mrs. Evelyn Asabia Jamina Ado of Bright Havens, Montessori, Sherman Estate from your husband, Mr. Jamina Ado and your children, as well as uh, Mrs. Emma Ejari Boche and Uncle Uwura, Auntie Evelyn. God bless you. Okay. Right. So we're getting ready for a quick convo. Reverend David Wing uh, Court has a project. I think there won't be any reason not to let you talk about it now that you're here. <laughs> I just like the sound of Christian preneurship, right? Did I pronounce it right? Christian preneurs. Yeah, Christian preneurs. So what yeah. was that? Christian preneurs. So preneurs is actually a French word mm. um, with means business okay so christians who are doing business oh i see yeah. and and it's it's actually um i would say a business uh, evangelizing business or evangelizing christians to venture into business oh wow. and that is our first call mm. you know that's our first call i mean just just look at the life of abraham when god called abraham he said that abraham i will bless you and make you good. even before he handed the Bible to him that to go <laughs> through the world to preach. So it's it's basically one of the things. And mm. people see you out there, they see if, um, 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 Uncle Fifi Fawson out there, they don't actually see the Bible in your heart, they don't actually see anything around you. But what they want to see is Jesus. Mm. And how they are seeing Christ is how you are doing well. Mm. He said, I wish above all that you may prosper even as your soul prospered. So it's it's something that goes with um, um, a Christian or a kingdom. Mm. And God's kingdom, he, has, he said that uh, the, the, the cattle of the hills are mine. Mm. And he has thousands and millions, thousands of cattle on the hill. Mm. All, just, just to know, anytime God is talking about his kingdom, it, it comes with some kind of, you know, um, um, wealth like that you can't count and that is how he wants his children mm. to be i'm sure you cannot be a, 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 a you cannot actually be a king a, a king's a kid and then you are walking by streets to <laughs> to you know just <laughs> that anybody know, sees you yeah I know, so we right. want to actually to walk so that's uh, what the project is about it's yeah, a, so, it's so christianpreneur summit yeah okay so so we what what basically um it is, is that when people have that mindset, mm. we all come onto the same umbrella. Mm. Um, we we have the summit every year, mm. and when they come, we empower them. Mm. We give them tools and resource, 
a lot of information these days. If you are living in this world today, mm. if what you know yesterday have changed. <laughs> what you know has yeah. changed. Even if it has not changed, AI has changed. It. I know, right? So you need to be abreast. You need to okay. be in for. Uh, um, you need to be positioning yourself for. So mm. we have resource uh, personnel. We have well experts, and then they come over on the same platform, mm. and then they share with us um, um, what it means for christian businesses to do well oh i, see. I know uh, anytime we are praying uh, david said i come to you in the name of god but on david's um, 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 bag there was a stone and there was a sting so what mm. it means is that there should be a, t a, a tool mm. there should be something that you have that apart from coming in the name of god what do you have mm. so many christian businesses we know that sometimes we have to spend more time uh, you know, praying, fasting, and doing all that. But after we do all that, after we do all that, mm. we need to be able to have that knowledge. You said that the lack of knowledge, my people perish. So we come together, we seek knowledge, and we know God has gifted a lot of people. Mm. It's the what, what Fifi Fossin knows, it's not what I know. Mm. And what um, um, our other speakers that who comes on the bill, we've had a previous um, um, event that... We had a powerful resource personnel. I was there for the first one. Yeah. And I'm still using some yeah. of the principles in my line of yeah. work. Thank you very much. Amazing. So this one is coming when? When it's, is it coming? It's actually up? coming on the 15th, this coming Saturday. Okay. This coming Saturday. All right. It's coming on the 15th um, of, of, of July. Mm. And we're at, at 3 p.m. Mm. Um, we are, uh, we, we'll be taking off. Um, and it's coming off at... Um, um, it's, uh, Accra International Conference Center. Right. Why do I have to even forget that? <laughs> Accra International Conference Center. So what, what it means is that um, we are trying our best just to be able to be empowered. Mm. If you can be empowered, you can now impact. Right. If you don't, you don't, you can't give what you don't have. Indeed. You can't give what you don't have. So if the person is talking to you, it's not about you laying hands and praying. Mm. It's about you putting your hands in your pocket and giving it to the person. But if the thing is not there, mm. haven't you seen that these days when people, when you are inviting people to even your, your birthday parties and even your weddings and other places, they find a way of giving an excuse because it is not because they don't want to come. Mm. Money. <laughs> Money. So <laughs> when you are not empowered, yeah. you cannot give. And, and that is one of the things that we want to try as much as okay. possible. And look at Ghana. We are 70 plus one percent 71 percent of Ghanaians are christian mm. and look at the 71 percent so even let's say 30 percent of christians are holding most of this um, organizations that is running here how is it doing look at our economy and all that so it means that we have to unlearn certain things to learn and it is only on platform like this mm. that we can seek that knowledge and i'm sure our life will never be the same. So, Christian Premier Summit, this uh, Saturday. Saturday, 15th of uh, July, July yeah. 3 p.m., Accra International Conference Center. Yeah. Um, it's free. It's free. It's free. Um, I'm, um, it, th th that's, that's, there's a great news and a good news. Okay. The great news is that we are fully booked. Oh, wow. That's the great news. So, why are we talking um, about it? And, 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 and the good news, <laughs> okay. that's, that's what I'm coming to share, the good news. The okay. great news is that we have an online platform okay. where people can join virtually. Right. So wherever you find our link as you are registering, we will share the links through them and then they can actually How do they I've got a minute more for you. How do they register? <laughs> if you can put a number So somewhere. so they can they can go on the www.christianpreneurghana.org. Um, christianpreneursghana.org. Mm. christianpreneursghana.org. Mm. So when they when they visit the site, I'm sure they can actually see our link and then to be uh, to to register mm. and if uh, when the event is also running too we are going to actually share every single person who have registered the link to be able to watch so the okay. people who have registered so far because we are working with a limited space mm. the space is very very limited and we are trying our best not to you know overflow the place there and mm. all that too just okay. want to make sure that yes and that's the reason why you uh, want to put a number out Ah, my number. Okay, let me give you. Let me give you. I'm giving my personal number. This is my personal number. Okay. Zero two four four one zero seven five six five. Zero two four four one zero seven five six five. Okay. Thank you so much. You got it. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend David Whitcomb. Wincott. Ah, Charlie, you heard it, man. 
And I know that our sister MFA Apau is uh, is hosting this event. And so uh, you all want to be part of a good one. I encourage you. Thank you very much also for blessing us with the word this morning. Do you have any message hanging? Go well in tomorrow. I will be honored to host Kwame. He's coming through to be a blessing to us leading live worship. And trust me, you can like him. All right. Said, please, I want to marry seriously. How can I reach you? Please, me or Pastor David Winkle. <laughs> I'm a child of the most high. I walk by faith and not by sight. I speak this word by faith and call it done. No, amen. amen. I'm a child of the most high. I walk by faith and not by sight. So I speak this word by faith and call it done. Latest from the camp of Diana Hamilton. She called this one. Say amen. Okay, let's put this one out here. Happy birthday to Nana Asimininya Enofivi. Okay, happy birthday to Nana Asimnina. Okay, the second. Nana Fachemu. Nana Asim Nina the second. May the Lord's grace, favor, protection, goodness, and love surround you every day from uh, Miss Ajua. Says God bless you abundantly. Okay, so thank you, Pastor. Uh, could you jump on for produce? Have you heard the song? Oh, you are blessed in your going in and your coming. Everything you put your hands to will work. And this is the end of every trouble in your life. Let's go, benediction, conclusion. Joy, J. Jew 890 on this one. Benediction. Conclusion on the matter. Agbe now. Okay. My time is up. I gotta check out of here. Go will we are back tomorrow with live worship. Kweku Kwame is my guest. May God's grace see all of us through every lives raised with an extra page. No enemy can chase. My name is PP Fosen. Remember, I'm on threats now. Okay. So join me there too. F I F I F O L. S-O-N. Well, let's go into Rhapsody of Reality. Good morning. Rhapsody of Reality. Oh. Mm. Welcome to today's Rhapsody reading, Thursday 13th. Pastor says we created in Christ. Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are God's own handiwork, his workmanship, we created in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking parts which he prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Observe that the Apostle Paul didn't say, we were or we shall be God's own handiwork. He uses the present tense to describe that right now. God has his label on you. In other words, no matter where you go in this great world, in the realms of the spirit, they recognize who you are because God's label is on you. You are recreated in Christ Jesus. Someone might say, but God created everything. So everyone is his workmanship. That's different from Paul's thoughts. There was the first creation in the book of Genesis. But Paul's emphasis was on a special creation, a recreation in Christ Jesus, those of us who are born again. Then he tells us the purpose of this new birth, that we may do those good works which God predestined and planned beforehand for us, taking parts which he prearranged ahead of time. Hallelujah. Again, this shows that for those of us that have been recreated in Christ, God has prepared our parts, everything about our lives, to be excellent and full of glory. That's not all. We are to live not just life, but the good life, 
which he prearranged and made ready for us to live. Now, you can better understand why sickness, disease, infirmity, or poverty shouldn't be a part of your life. Let this be your confession. Every so often declare, I'm recreated in Christ for beauty and for glory. Good things are in my path, and the righteousness of God is expressed in and through me always. Hallelujah. Repeat this confession. Dear Father, thank you for um, your excellent handiwork. Fashion for good works and to live the good life which you prearranged for me. I refuse to succumb to sickness, disease, or the elements of this world because you have made me superior to them and the corrupting influences and negativities in this world of darkness. Glory to God. For further study, read James 1.18, Ephesians 2.10. If you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, please repeat this after me. O oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Today's broadcast was brought to you by Christ Embassy. If you were blessed by this broadcast, please contact 244 211 or 027-914-3895. 027-914-3895. God bless you. Imagine strutting into the most anticipated wedding of the year. Ah, only to see seven other girls wearing your exact same outfit. Ah! You are special and one of a kind, and that's why whether it's voice, data, or SMS, you get to enjoy personalized offers tailored to your specific needs with MTN Just for you. Dial star 141 hash or select your options on the My MTN app to redeem your unique Just for You package on Ghana's best mobile network. MTN. 